Hi. I'll say that again. Hi. <laughs> it's, well, it's Sunday. And it's gloomier than I thought. I mean, I thought it was going to rain all day. And then I was looking at the weather and it said partly cloudy. And it's about noon right now. And it's pretty cloudy and it was just raining a little bit. So anyway, I've got things I want to do today. Um, but I want to show you, well, this is part of the, some of the things I wanted to do. Show you some of the projects. I got lots of projects going on. And um, I keep seeing the squirrel. And so I keep following it and then I'm off to something else. So let me show you the projects that I've been doing and then I'll um um we'll complete one together <laughs> all right one of the projects and I link videos because I've been watching videos and so this is where the stuff is coming from uh, let me see if I can get closer that work now okay so I was watching somebody and they were making these flowers out of a heart punch let me see if I can get it oh of course it's, um... well hold on hold on So I have this heart punch and I have a one that makes tiny hearts. So anyway, I punched out a bunch of hearts and I folded them in half and then I glued them onto a circle. And in the video she shows, well she shows how to use eight hearts and seven. So I was watching the video on seven, but I punched out eight hearts. Um, so I made it work. I mean, I think the way she did it is probably better. And uh, anyway, so just fold them in half and you glue them and then you bling them up a little bit. And I was just like grabbing just whatever was on my desk at the time. So this is what I had. Um, so anyway, I want to make more of these but with prettier paper and so when i had gone back to try and make some more because i have to watch video over and over again um the next video that she that popped up was her making these kind of flowers and this is done uh, using six by six paper pad and I made three of them and the paper pads over across the room so I'm not gonna go grab it because I you know I don't know because all the papers match, so okay. So you cut out six by six strips, which I I grabbed a piece of paper, a six by six from each of the uh, papers that were in this pack. So I grabbed quite a few, and I cut them into one one half inch strips. So then you take that and you glue them into circle and then you take that circle and you squish it in the middle and you glue that until you get where am I gosh I wonder if I have to move up I don't know if I go here you should see you make this so 
you have the strips, you make the circle, then you glue it, and then you have these. And then you take six of these, and you just um, glue them on top of each other until you get you know, this thing. And then with some other other strips you make four inches and you make a little flag like so so you take two of those flags and you just glue them on like this and then you just find some kind of bling or something to put in the middle and so I have made three and then I kind of got bored but um, I still have, I stuck them all in this bag, so I need to finish these, <laughs> because if I put this away, I may never get back to it. So this is a project I need to finish. And so you may be asking, so why are you doing that, Jennifer? I just want <laughs> to make... A bunch of things so if I create some kind of project that calls for some kind of embellishments then I can pull the embellishments off so I want to make a bunch of these a bunch of those and then see this was this was actually scroll number one because I wasn't making these I was just watching videos. I was making, well, hold on. Back the truck up, Jennifer, hold on. Let me show you something else I was making. Well, I haven't started it yet. It was in my head. <laughs> and the reason why I say that is because it's all stacked up on top of each other. So, on my Facebook feed, you know how you get those uh, advertisements? Well, I've been getting a lot of advertisements for um, arts and crafts kind of stuff, paper products and different companies. So Graphic 45 is a paper line. And so they had one called Farmhouse something. Let me see. So I went on their site and these are like ephemera cards, little pieces of, of um, die, die cuts and I don't know, it's really cute stuff. <laughs> um, and since my channel name is Omending a Farmstead, but you don't see a lot of farm stuff happening um I, yeah i wish <laughs> i wish i could farm more stuff i mean we have two pigs currently not on our property but on another property and we have four chickens um that just lay eggs for us that's what we have so these are um chipboard pieces and these are sticker pieces so I bought those and then I think we're going to get some calves to them here in here in rumors <laughs> and this is an eight by eight pad so what's it called uh hmm, it doesn't even say does it? It doesn't say. Well, anyway, this is 8x8. Eight eight. Exactly the same but smaller print as this one here, which is a 12x12 12 12, um, paper pad. Um, I think it's just called Farmhouse. It doesn't really say, does it? Uh, oh, right here. Duh. Farmhouse. Yeah. So let's get some.
I like the papers. Let's see. Nope, it doesn't show. So, okay, so I actually got two things here. Um, I took it. So these are the papers you get. Um, see if you can see this. And then they also had um, said solids and patterns. So these are the solids here, which aren't really solid because there's some type of design. And these are the patterns. And then I also bought, which I, I think, um, some inks. Uh, it's color box inks. One is some type of black. What does it say? Uh, probably somewhere it says what colors they are. And then this is um, kind of this orangish yellow color. So I bought that. And then I also bought, just across the room, some um, paper flowers that are in more of a peachy tone. So anyway, with that, so I bought this. I'm going, okay, well now what can I do with it? Because <laughs> I just really wanted it. So a while ago, a friend of ours, um, they gave us a box for oysters which he works for taylor shellfish but these boxes weren't perfect so they were able to get some and i'm thinking because this lid doesn't quite um shut so they weren't perfection boxes but anyway it's a pretty nice box i kind of like it the way it is but then, and not that this will, this won't fit the theme of my craft room either, which I don't really have a theme. But I was thinking I could like um, decoupage some of this paper and do that. Um, like put one of the solids down. I definitely want to have the cow face up here and then the sides are some paper that has strips and I think the strips would fit and then Mod Podge the bejeebies out of it. So what do you think? Um, yeah, so that's a project I want to do. I'm not really in frame. I would like to turn it. I wonder if I can. I'm going to bounce you, sorry. Uh, but then... Yeah, no, I can't really see you. Anyway, I was thinking of Mod Podge and the Bejeebies out of this thing with this farmhouse paper from um, Graphic 45. So there's a project. Put this box down. You can grab my papers. Let me um, do this really quick because if I don't put it in the bag, it's going to sit behind me on the floor and might get trampled on. My chair, I might roll back on it and just mess it up. Good time. So in these bags I got on Amazon, they're 12 by 13. And so if I have any projects, Um, I just stick the whole thing in a bag and then on the other side, the back side of my desk um, has a big opening. So I have a big box, uh, one of those canvas things you can buy at Walmart or any store with a handle. So I have that and it's full of um, <laughs> these <laughs> Uh, it's, full, it's full of paper. I have lots of paper 
and I can't help myself. I just love paper, but then I don't do anything with it. So I'm trying to find stuff to use up my paper. So there's that. Next project. Um, back to my original project I was doing before I got um, squirreled with that. I was doing this. Like I said, I'll I'll link the videos um, of the tutorials for all these projects um, I was doing. So where's the paper pad? So the idea is for a envelope mini album. So I pulled this paper. Um, this is from Michael's when they have those hot pies. I bought this like two years ago, I think. Does it say? 2018. Yeah. So I had I bought like 10 of them. But my husband enabled me because I was just going to buy one. And then like maybe one or two solids. And they were on sale for five bucks a piece. And he says, wow, at that price, you should buy more. And so he helped me buy all the ones I liked. <laughs> so I got like, I don't know, like 10 of these and then some solids. And I think I even got a glitter one. <laughs> so he's enabled me to buy paper um, two or three times. So I took, uh, pulled out one, because you get two of each, one of each paper, took them out. And so... the envelopes my envelopes are, are smaller but she says it'll work for the smaller ones too she's using bigger envelopes I don't know I couldn't anyway so you get three envelopes and no six envelopes and you glue them you glue them together the flaps so that gives you three and then, um, she's like, she's using black paper, um, envelopes too, but I don't have any black. So I have cream or white and actually I thought, look, cause I know I've got some new paper packs too, uh, which you buy the cards and the, um, envelopes together. So I know I have at least two more anyway. So she was showing you get a 12 by 12 piece of paper cut it in half and then she helps you and you make this little pocket so she says and she's going really fast so I have to watch it like 24 times for me to just make this little thing so I have to make three of these and so far I've made one but I and I still have to cut out because I have the 12 by 12 in here um, so you glue that on and I'm not sure why I glued this on. I think I went on to the second video and I shouldn't have rounded off these corners here. I should have just left them flat, but I got ahead of myself. Um, I think that's why. So I need to make two more of these and it's just the t time consuming and having to go back and watch the video or that part over and over again because I mean she's like talking to someone who's like done this a bunch of times <laughs> and and she has she's <laughs> she's done this. I think this is what was her name I had Orta I think her first or last name is Orta anyway I'll link that <laughs> I think it's the old video too like maybe seven or ten years old so anyway, that's where I'm at. I got, I got, I got that piece done. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I watched that other video and went squirrel. Um, anyway, so I cut, you know, she told us to cut. So I got this cut, this cut, and I still have to cut the pieces for the black part. And then there's pieces like, 
She doesn't even talk about because she ha teaches classes too. And Patreon. And I don't do any of that. So anyway, she said in her class or Patreon, she showed you how to make the inserts and stuff. Well, I don't, I don't have that, but <laughs> I think I can figure out how to make an insert here. But if she starts not showing us how to do that fancy stuff, you know, with the flip outs and everything. I mean, I can do a flip out, but then I'm lost. So I think that's, I was getting upset thinking that, but I'll have to watch all the videos just to make sure, or maybe she has a link, hopefully. And this is my cover that I'm going to use for the top and the back. It's pretty, it's a foily paper. So there, there's that project. Oh, no, that's not the cover. I take that back. We're using the chipboard cover. But I have had made one, um, a photo album type thing, a folio, whatever. And the person at that time was um, using, this is from the Dollar Tree. Um, and I got like 10 of them um, and they're in the school teacher section and they had stacks and stacks of them so I grabbed 10 but she says she uses these a lot it's nice thick chipboard and perfect for uh, covers and just uh, cut it to the size you need um, and this is like pretty basic if you cut it in half it should work because so, this is what I used last time so I have a bunch of that so I was going to use that, and then I also have this chipboard. Where did I get this? And I know I have a few more because it's in a kit that I'm getting. Oh, pumpkin, a Stampin' Up! kit, and all the stuff is um, enclosed with, with um, this in it, so I have that so I was going to use that too yeah because that's a good size too so I'm kind of I think I'm going to go with this if I can't find the other one because my room is um, I can't just go find what I'm looking for <laughs> everything's in the place where I think it should be <laughs> and I go to look of course it's not there okay so on to the next one this is what I've currently doing right now I just finished these and I can't believe I'm starting a video now my husband will be home soon it's like, ugh. so let's see I just finished these I think he's just pulling up too dang it um so I have to get up so because I can't see um, and I created these using my punch board. Now, if you don't have a punch board, I'll also, and you want to make some bows because they're so cute, maybe you have something you want to make them on, or maybe you already know how to make bows. But I'll, I will also link a channel where she doesn't have a punch board, but she makes them look just like this. <laughs> this one here is a smaller one. I gotta go get some cows today. Uh, about uh, I gotta be there by five o'clock. Hey, so we're getting cows. I'm making a video. Oh, you are. Yeah. We're gonna uh, we're getting two cows, and uh, one of them's going to Gethsemane, and one comes here. Okay. Cool. So I thought we'll make some bows. Okay. So the paper. Now, this is a paper pad like the one I showed you, but at the same time, I don't know which one it is. Um, but I think I took one of every paper in there, and then I stuck it in a iris container that holds 12 by 12 paper. So anyway, I took out a 12 by 12 paper, and we made, I made those. So I took out this 12 by 12, and we'll use this. So what I need to do first is 
uh, right beside me, I have my paper trimmer. So what I need is one by seven inch paper in this cute little trim. Isn't that cute? I use that trim for this. The trim, the trim that was on attached to this piece of paper, which is this pink. I took that off and used that for the wrapping around the bow. So let me take this trim off. This is the hardest part for me, just lining this stuff up. Isn't that cute? So don't throw that away. All right, so I need seven inches. Okay, and so then I need uh, one inch strips. Or you can turn around this way if you want. Now this paper trimmer by Cricut has um, these little grid lines in there. They might be. metric size, but they still help. <laughs> Line this up. Okay, I don't need this piece because I'm going to use. this. So I'm just going to cut a few out. couple of friends that want me to do a process video because I usually show what I've made and nope I didn't make a video because these are not my ideas these are ideas um, I'm getting from someone else <laughs> and I'm just following along okay so we have that so next you get out your punch board. Like I said, if you don't have a punch board, I will attach a video um, where May May makes them uh, with no board and they look exactly like this, except this has um, more of a rounded flag and hers will be more pointy. So. You take your seven inch strip, you line it to a half an inch, and three and a half, and then you flip it over, line it back up to a half an inch, and three and a half. And then you flip it to the other end and you do half an inch, flip it over, half an inch, and you have something that looks like this. So then these ends, gotta make this flag kind of shape. So you stick it in 
And then you have this little paper guide, this little thing that sticks out here. So you stick your paper in and you put the edge of your paper to the edge of this thing, this thing that sticks out. And that gives you the half. area in half in you know between the two all right so then you have that so then I have my mini um your memory keepers uh uh mat here and it also came with magnetized uh, ruler. So right beside me I have my little work caddy. Uh, okay, so need, you'll need glue. and <laughs> I don't know if you can see this or not. In here is a stainless steel uh, pin like that's my drawer sorry uh, bought a bunch of them <laughs> a little stainless steel pin and it was a really pretty color it was a green color but it was like shiny anyway I'm sitting there trying to get this out because it got stuck in here and you keep it in there so it doesn't get, the glue doesn't, you know, keeps the hole in there. So anyway, it got stuck in the little green bobby thing. Um, came out. And it's like, I got a whole bunch of them. I could just throw that one piece away and then put in another one. But <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Instead, if I can't pull it out, which this one I can, because I've been using it, I'll, I'll get out one of my jewelry flyer things <laughs> grab a hold of it and just yank it out <laughs> so you got your glue so you ne also need like a pen uh, something round about the size of a pen I have this little stylus thing uh, for scoring uh, that I use anyway so you want to round off you know, like, remember those, your curling ribbon. So you want to do that. And don't be too strong because it's thin right there. Um, you just want to curl it a little bit. It's just made out of paper. So, you did that. And then, so what you want to do is grab these two pieces here. And... Just roll them over and you're going to glue them right there in the middle, okay? So I'm going to leave a drop of glue big enough and I'm going to take my two pieces. And push them together hold them for a minute a second or so and then on the type of glue you have this glue here that I'm using is um, um, hold on I'll grab it glitter glue there's no glitter in it that's just the company <laughs> art glitter glue so then you have that that cute so the next piece now I haven't decided and you can use washi tape I have some gold paper here hmm let's see let me get my trimmer out let me get another trimmer out I, I wish this was more flatter on the ground on the 
table. Um, I have a little guillotine so I don't have to get the big one out for little things. So I just want, how big is this paper? One, two, three, four, a little more than a quarter. So if I move this thing, yeah, here's me trying to do math. There's a four. That might be, that might be it. This straight? Yeah. Okay. Let me use this. And how long is this? Actually, I measured that wrong. Uh -huh. So that's six. So basically, about one inch. Okay. Okay, so the next thing you do, I'm gonna flip it over. And I'm gonna put a, a dollop of glue there. I can make this thinner or thicker. It's about one inch. Anyway, I can put it like halfway to the back. Of this hold it bend it around the front bring it around the back kind of line it up yeah one inch is about perfect and hold that for a second there and so you got that now when I went to California for Thanksgiving, my sister and I went to Michael's. I think I've shown this to you. And there's this big old jar of these flat back pearls. And there's pink ones and white ones. So I used pink ones on these ones here. So I think I want to use a white one. So they have like three or four different sizes these pearls so I'm gonna put a dollop glue on there I'm gonna place this in the middle like so and there there's your little bow <laughs> isn't that cute so I'm gonna make a bunch of those next um, I'm going to stick this back in here so it doesn't dry it up. Stick that to the side. So I want to make a bunch of those and then I'm going to I'm going to plant some tomatoes that I have out there sitting on the deck. But I'm going to make some of those and I also want to make some more of these flowers. Two. Get some pretty paper for those. And so I'll have that. Oh, and then I haven't grabbed that stuff together. But I have these sandwich bags. And someone was making... You, do I have one? This is not the best uh, quality of one. But like mason jars, you can make mason jars. Uh, with your punch board also. Um, this is like a 2 by 2 size. But someone was making um, gift bags with mason jars, two bigger size mason jars, and a paper bag, like a lunch size that you buy in the stacks. So I'm thinking I might make one of those. That will that'll be fun. Um, yeah. So anyway, I thought I'd show you from start to finish on a project 
that I'm working on. I'm just making a bunch of things to add on to other projects. All right. There you go, guys. Ta-ta for now. Bye-bye.